Hey everybody, it's Jeff Mayock and I'm here in my car heading towards Newark International Airport. Actually, it's called Liberty International Airport, but it is in Newark, New Jersey. Heading to Las Vegas, fabulous Las Vegas. It is pouring rain out. It is 3.30 in the morning. I must be crazy. Things I do for this channel, I don't know sometimes, but I'm looking forward to this trip. Going to be in Vegas for about a week, and I'm uh, staying at the Flamingo, and uh, I think I have a room booked at Aria one night, as well as a, uh, well, the other night is open. I have a couple comps from MGM. Thinking about the Mandalay Bay. Not sure if I'm going to go there or not, but I just want to go to a place that I haven't been to already. So, in any event, uh, I'm driving to Newark International Airport. Fly along with me today. Uh, I'll take you from door to door from uh, the Garden State Parkway, which is where I am right now, to uh, my door at the Flamingo. So, stay tuned. takes me about an hour from my uh, home's front door to uh, Liberty International Airport. And that's because I usually travel when it's not busy, not during rush hours, or it's usually on the weekends early in the morning. This is Mitzi the Rubber Ducky Showgirl who shows up on all my Vegas videos. As most of you know, there are hidden mascots, or some of you call them Easter eggs, in my videos. Mitzi shows up in all the Vegas ones. Sometimes she's easy to spot, other times she's quite elusive, so keep your eyes open while watching the video. If you spot her, note the time in the comments below, and if you're the first one, you'll get a shout out on an upcoming video. Newark Airport's quite large and I always take the AirTran which is like a monorail from the uh, long-term parking lot to whatever gate I'm going to, usually gate C which is United. Uh, but the AirTran, as luck would have it, is not working this morning so I had to take a bus. Lucky me. trip I'm traveling from uh, very early Sunday morning which is now in this video to uh, very late Friday or actually Saturday morning and that's when I usually travel for a couple reasons one it's very cheap or it's not very cheap but it's cheaper to travel during the week than during the weekends and also it's less crowded So this flight's a little over five hours. I'm leaving at uh, seven o'clock in the morning. It's actually 6.59 the flight departs. Uh, and I should be arriving in Las Vegas at 9.30. However, don't forget there's a three hour difference. So I'm actually landing in New York time at 12.30. So um, it's from seven in the morning to 12.30, about five and a half hours. Um, but again, I arrive at Las Vegas at 9.30 because of the time difference, which makes my day actually three hours longer going.
Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the video, and if you are, give it a thumbs up, and while you're at it, if you're not subscribed to the New York channel already, subscribe right now, it really does help the channel out. And while you're at it, if you'd like to support the New York channel, just click on that thanks button right underneath the video. I appreciate your support, guys. week I am staying at the Flamingo Hotel and Casino. Uh, it's pretty inexpensive relatively compared to other uh, hotels and casinos on the Las Vegas Strip. Um, and airfares were very expensive for this trip so that's why I picked a, a more value type of a hotel. Uh, I do have some comp rooms across the street from MGM. I already booked one at the Aria so I'll be staying at the Aria at night even though I have rooms at the um, a room at the Flamingo. And uh, I'm probably going to pick another MGM property as well as the area in, I'm not sure whether it'll be Mandalay Bay. I've always liked it. It's in a bad location, but it's a beautiful hotel and uh, I've never stayed there before. Or perhaps a park MGM. I'm not sure yet. I had mentioned in the community room not too long ago that I was originally scheduled to be in Las Vegas two weeks earlier. I usually go around Halloween. Um, I go several times a year, but Halloween's one of those times where I usually go. And uh, because of scheduling issues with my real job, I had to go two weeks later, which was this past week. Uh, so it was pretty chilly. It was chilly around Halloween, but this was even chillier. It actually fell into the 30s at night, and uh, during the days it never even reached 70 degrees. It was in the upper 60s, so you have to dress differently in Las Vegas this time of year. Um, but I had mentioned in the community room that uh, another issue that I was running into is a lot of Christmas decorations, which I would not have done two weeks earlier. Um, I wouldn't have run into these issues as far as Christmas trees and Christmas decorations everywhere. I mean, it's beautiful, but it's a, it's a vlogger's nightmare because a lot of these videos won't be seen until uh, January, February, maybe even as late as March. And uh, who wants to see Christmas trees in February and March? But. It is what it is, and you guys will be seeing Christmas decorations in videos coming from Vegas in the near future. So, like I said, it is what it is. I had a great time. just mentioned the community room in my last commentary here on the video and one of the things that strikes me funny is a lot of people do go to the community room and I appreciate that but a lot of subscribers don't visit the community room and they're not even aware of it some of them are aware of it but they don't check it out it's right here if you go on the home page uh, you'll see something on top that says uh, home videos shorts live uh, it has community up there it's got this the New York store up there 
Um, but if you click on community, it's updated usually once, at least once a day, sometimes more than once a day. Um, a lot of opinions are left up there, which I love. Um, and I run into people, especially in Atlantic City, uh, who recognize me and we get to talking and they love the videos, but they never go to the community room. So if you get a chance, just click on that tab, even when this video is over, check it out. Uh, lots going on there, so I hope you can appreciate it and uh, check it out sometime in the near future. So as I mentioned, uh, I'm staying at the Flamingo. It's a relatively inexpensive hotel, uh, especially considering its location. Uh, I've been there before. It's clean. Uh, a lot of the rooms are uh, renovated and new. You'll see what the rooms look like here in future videos. Um, I also love the Habitat, which they have outside. It's a great like oasis in the middle of the Las Vegas Strip if you want to get away from all the craziness for a couple minutes. Uh, has a really good pool, uh, which was closed because of the weather, but uh, one of the best pools on the Las Vegas Strip. So uh, I really enjoy the Flamingo, and like I said, it's a good value. You didn't think I was going to show you the room, did you? Come on guys, you know me better than that. That's a whole nother video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, comment, ask some questions, and most importantly, subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right, or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around the city.